how to get more kills in the ISO Ultimate. If you're wondering about that, in this episode, I'm going to explain to you five simple rules that you need to follow to increase your odds in winning your duels. Welcome to Lotus Lab. Today, ESO or ISO is on the table. We're going to dissect how to play in the Ultimate to increase your odds of winning the gunfights. I think that when you ult someone you typically get a 50 50 um but it's like slightly adjusted for uh, for iso because of the two walls that he gets uh but the first mistake that i see many isos do when they ult someone when they ult they instantly make noise and make footsteps left or right and alert the opponent on where they can expect you that's one of the first problems that i see and typically when i ult someone i don't do noise like, I quite literally just go shift, and I go left or right, right? Remember, you can make a swing to your left or your right without making footsteps. So you don't have to, like, shift instantly. So you don't you have still the acceleration, but you're going to hide. And not making the footsteps noise is increasing the odds of you surprising your opponent that you're going to be either left or right. So that's the first rule that you need to follow um, in the ISO Ultimate. And now from the first rule, when your opponent doesn't know where you're at, you can abuse the walls that you have. Now, when you go into the Ultimate, one of my favorite things to do is peeking from the left side. Now, left side peeking is actually better for you if you're right-handed because you're going to flick most likely to your left if you go to your left and your opponent is going to be on your left side right think about it if i go to the right side there's a high chance that my opponent is going to be somewhere on the right side as well because the positioning that i'm taking is actually increasing the odds that i have to click on my uh, flick to my right flicking to your to your right when you're left-handed is okay but when you're right-handed it's it's probably the most daunting physical task that you have to do but flicking to your left is more natural for the right handers so typically try to go to your left if you're right-handed or go to your right if you're left-handed right so that's one of the things now third third rule is gonna be combined with the left right and then the wall peak that's something that uh, i i really love doing oh my god it just disappeared so fast let's do it again so i combine those three rules right now so the sound so i mask the footsteps then second i go to my left because i'm right-handed and third i'm gonna be peeking through the wall for informations and baits that's the third rule wall peeking so i go left don't make footsteps I peek out through the wall, I don't make footsteps, I look where someone is through the wall, because maybe the player is already peeking, and I go back. Sometimes, if I'm efficient enough, I can literally still shoot a bullet in that moment, where I see someone, right? So I go like this. Left, no footsteps, peek out, go back, and if I saw the en enemy, I'm gonna shoot when I peek out through the wall, and I go back behind the cover because your opponent is going to answer with fire. So what is going to happen typically is your opponent is going to is going to destroy his recoil control because you go out, you hide, your opponent spams the wall, exposes himself, then the wall disappears. He doesn't know exactly where you're standing and you have the advantage because he has to reset his recoil. It's incredibly effective the way you do it, because your opponents typically also don't predict that something like this is happening. Right, like this. You get the info. If there's no info, you go back. The walls drop. You're prepared that he's going to be behind the wall because he wasn't left-right. And if he was left-right and he saw you, he's going to most likely just flick and spam the wall. He gets the recoil reset and you don't. And you will just have most likely an easier time winning that gunfight. Now, fourth, fourth, um, rule that I like to do is not something that you, you do in the uh, ultimate itself, but you do in the game before you ult. So typically when I have my ultimate ready, I check if we have specific players with ultimates available. If I see a jet with the ultimate, a race with the ultimate, a chamber with the ultimate, um, I typically try to hound them. That means that I'm not going to be holding A or B. I'm going to be somewhere in the middle or like be prepped for fast rotation because typically those players are going to be pushing fast 
like if they attack onto site with the ultimate and they will not have anything else. And because ISO ultimate turns off utility, you have a built-in counter against a raise ult, for example, or a jet ult. So jet dashes into site, you get her into the ultimate and she has no knives. So now you know she's either going to have a classic or a stinger or a judge or something like that. And that's pretty easily adjusted. Like you, can, you can adjust to that because of the fifth rule, which is the range adjustment. So when I go into the ultimate and I expect my opponent or know that my opponent doesn't have a long range weapon, a rifle, and he's playing a stinger, SMG, or, or a judge, I just take, take steps backwards. The maximum range is 27 meters, but it actually matters a lot when someone has a judge. So once you counter someone because you know what weapon he has or what, what weapon he doesn't have, you can adjust the way that you play in the ultimate and just abuse the fact that you have a better gun and play longer ranges, right? And typically also what happens is that someone who has a closer range gun, he's going to go forward instantly. So when you know, for example, someone discovers with sky um, dog or a sova drone or an arrow or cypher ultimate discovers someone with a judge and you get that player that judge player typically is going to jump out through this middle wall so if you just go take foot uh, 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 sorry take uh, steps backwards you have a high chance of just spamming the player from the middle wall or you see him going left right because of the angle look at this again i'm gonna just take quick footsteps back and i see if it goes left or right and because of that, I'm able to adjust because my walls are still going to be up and I can counter the way that he's moving. If he has a close range rep and goes left, I go right. Right? Let's do it. This, let's do it again. I see him now going left. I adjust to my right or I counter with the wall to my left because I still have cover, but then he will close the range. But you, all of that, you just think about how to play actively against the weaponry that you choose your opponent has to use in the ultimate and remember when you ult chamber he can't use headhunter he cannot use his two of the fours so if he plays on an eco with the headhunter he's just standing there with a classic or a shorty sometimes and that is just not winnable so those are easy 1v1 gunfights that you can win in the uso ultimate and yeah that's about it Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, remember also that if you get a kill before ulting, you transfer your shield into the ult. So you're able to even have a bigger advantage because you're going to have additional shield, which, which cancels one bullet. But there's also one more thing that you need to pay attention for is that when you ult someone, both you and your opponent are gonna take the basic health that you had at the beginning of the round into the ultimate. That means if you had small shields, you got damaged, and then you ult someone, you spawn in the ult with the light shield, not with the big shield. The same goes for the opponent. So sometimes you can pay attention to the economy as well on your opponents to know who has um, smaller or bigger shield and adjust the way you play accordingly as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about ESO gameplay or any other topic, leave a comment. I'll make sure to answer it or even record a guide uh, to whatever you suggest. See ya.